And they're not victims, but survivors. Now New York is leading the charge when it comes to support and resources for those impacted by sex assault and rape. We're talking specifically about the state's new sexual assault survivors bill of rights. Among many things, this law offers appropriate health care at no cost, counseling services, rape kit tracking, and an increase in rape kit retention. For more on this breakthrough and what it means for those impacted by these crimes, here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Robson. After suffering such trauma, a person's life is just shattered. Putting survivors of sexual assault in control. Having more transparency throughout that process is only going to benefit a survivor who otherwise might feel in the dark. Governor Cuomo is doing his best to get victims out of the dark by establishing the Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights. Included, law enforcement must inform survivors of their rights. Health care will be provided at no cost and arguably the most important, Survivors can receive updates on their rape evidence kit and status of their case. So many times there are serial rapists who are assaulting more and more women and if they're not caught right away then they continue going and those rape kits can start to create a case. The state hopes to clear the backlog of untested rape kits. Dr. Kate Fowler is the executive director at It Happened to Alexa, a global organization that helps survivors of sexual assault attend and testify at out-of-town trials. I think testing every rape kit is, is essential to, to prosecuting these cases and to giving survivors clo closure. She says sexual assault can cost a survivor more than $100,000 in combined fees. Legislation like this, ensuring that they have access to that health care at no cost, it's huge. We create a culture of respect, consent, and accountability. And by informing survivors of their rights, that's a part of that. If you're a survivor, Crisis Services encourages you to call their 24-hour hotline at 716-834-3131. Sean Robson, 7 Eyewitness News.